really praying to the Jesus that I am in focus. What is up everybody? It is Leah. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, today's video is going to be another curly hair video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about winterizing your curly hair. Like just tips and some tricks that I use that helps me maintain my hair during the winter because as you guys know curly hair gets very dry and really annoying during the winter. So these are just some of my tips. Hopefully it helps you out. This is a collab with one of my really good friends here on YouTube. Her name is Purely Casey. These are her pictures. She's so cute. Her melanin is just on point it's on flea guys and she actually has a different hair texture than me as you can tell from the picture she has like 4c or 4b i think i know a lot of you guys who watch my videos have that texture and you've asked me questions about it but i don't know how to answer because obviously i have a different texture so yeah taking tips from both of us will definitely help you guys out and on her channel she's going to be doing a lock method on her twist and how she does her little puff but yeah if you're interested in that make sure you check the description box below because i'll have her link and this is her username right here make sure you subscribe because she's awesome today i'm gonna be sharing with you guys my winter curly hair tips and these are things that just work for me and also me sharing with you guys my favorite curly hair products in the winter and I have a lot in this bag. I have a whole lot so make sure you stay tuned that will be at the end of this video. My first tip is to use a hair mask in the shower after you condition. You know that hair masks they just add like extra nutrients to your hair and they just they really like just revitalize your hair so I found out this tip actually like not even long ago maybe like two months ago that you can actually use a hair mask after a conditioner and it makes sense. It does make sense. I don't know why I haven't figured that out before. My next tip is to deep condition before washing. So deep conditioning I feel like is so important for curly hair because curly hair just gets really dry you have the brittle cold wind just hitting your hair breaking it making it dry so you need that extra moisture i cannot stress how much moisture curly hair needs especially in the winter so what i like to do is that i like to deep condition before any wash that i do because i feel like it's just a little step that you could add that really makes a difference in your hair routine i love to mix together coconut oil and castor oil because castor oil has hair growth agents and coconut oil is just coconut oil like it's just amazing for like everything <laughs> so I like to mix those in a bowl and then put it in the fridge fridge yep put them in the microwave just to warm up a little bit and then I put that in my hair while it's still warm and hot and then I put a plastic bag over it and I just let it soak in for like 30 minutes and it definitely makes a difference in my hair I promise I actually have a video on how I do that it'll be below also or you can just click on my curly hair playlist to watch everything the next step is to use more product while styling than you usually would so um I really neglected this tip because I know how oily my hair can get but then I figured my hair is so dry I really need that extra moisture and I can't do that without adding more product so I started to use like three products in my wash and goes I use a leave-in I use an oil and then I use something to lock everything together and I coat them all the same way except for the oil I only put that at the ends of my hair because that's what gets the driest and I don't want to put that on my scalp because then my scalp will get really oily but yeah definitely try to add an oil to your routine if your hair is dry during the winter just try adding more product than you usually would. My next tip is to avoid adding proteins to your hair. So that means don't use any shampoos. Use dry shampoos. A curly girl should not even be using dry shampoo. <laughs> what proteins basically does is that it makes your hair stronger and thicker and what you really need is moisture. So when you do put protein in your hair, it kind of gets rid of that added moisture that you should have. Most shampoos definitely dry your hair out. So that's why I try to co-wash only. I wash my hair with conditioner. This is one that I use. It's the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. This is what I use to co-wash and I use um, the Diva Curl Conditioner because that's like one of my favorite conditioners but anyways yeah try to avoid shampoo in the winter time co-washing is your best friend and if you don't have curly hair if you have like wavy hair it's same thing co-washing is your best friend don't use shampoo shampoo is bad shampoo like once a month maybe <laughs> or if you're gonna shampoo use shame moisture shampoo use a shampoo that you know is like organic and really good for your hair my next tip is to diffuse when you're going out diffusing your hair is basically just drying your hair without manipulating it like you know how when you hold a hair dryer it just makes the hair go everywhere diffusing it just puts it into one part so that it dries. I feel like it's kind of common sense not to go outside in the winter time with wet hair because of course you're gonna get sick. I don't want you guys to get sick. So I'm gonna introduce you to diffusing. Diffusing is also a really good way to get some definition and to lock in the moisture because yeah like I said you don't want to go outside with wet hair. My last tip is that natural oils are a must. I love natural oils. I use them on my skin also. Here are some of my favorite ones. Of course I love coconut oil. Gotta have your coconut oil. Dude. Castor oil. One of my favorite oils because it's a hair growth agent. I also love adding this into my routine because it gives me complete complete control over my hair like I just take some of this and I apply it onto my hair and then like when I scrunch it it has like these perfect little curls I also really love sweet almond oil I haven't used this that much it just smells really good it's really moisturizing for your hair jojoba oil I haven't used that much but it's really good for your skin so I just wanted to add it into this video now we're gonna move on to my favorite curly hair product for the winter time I'm gonna be showing you guys the infamous Shea Moisture Curly Enhancing Smoothie every curly girl I feel like has this on YouTube because this stuff is amazing and it's cheap like I started with this and a bunch of other bloggers I see started with this when trans 
transitioning to curly hair. So this is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is to add moisture and shine and anti-frizz. This is really thick consistency and it's so good for your hair. It adds so much moisture to it. Has no sulfates, no parabens, no animal testing, no mineral oil. So this is all just natural stuff. I will always recommend this because this definitely saved me when I was transitioning. This is the OGX Hydrate and Repair Argan Oil of Morocco Creamy Hair Butter. You can use this as a leave-in or a rinse out. So it's basically like a conditioner. I've used quite a lot of it, as you can tell. It's almost done. This is also very cheap. Like these two are drugstore products. Majority of what I'm showing you are drugstore products. But yeah, this product contains argan oil, so it just adds a lot of moisture back to your hair. This is the Weightless Hydration Coconut Water, and this is basically just a hydration oil for your hair. It comes in really cute packaging. Sometimes when my hair isn't feeling the most moisturized, like three days in after washing my hair, I just spray some of this in my hair, like the driest parts, and I just scrunch it. And it's so like weightless. It adds moisture, but you don't feel the oiliness. You know what I mean? My next product, which I actually used in a video like that I just did, this is the Carol's Daughter for Cakesy Nectar Wash and Go Leave-In. I love Carol's Daughter leave-in products. It's just so moisturizing, and I feel like leave-in is a good product to use before applying all of your other products because it just creates slip and just makes all the other products go on much easier. It smells like peaches. I also forgot to mention, olive oil is a really good natural oil. I have a cousin who has the same hair texture as me. She said that she uses that because it gives her more control of her hair, and it's also like a heavier oil, so it's not like too oily, and it adds a lot of moisture to her hair. The last product that I'm going to show you guys is the Diva Curl Light Defining Gel. This is pricier, so I wanted to show this one last. The big balls, I think like $40, and the small balls like $20. But I love to add this to my hair after applying my leave-in, my cream, my oil, anything, like just as a last step, because this is like a gel, but it's very, very light, so it doesn't leave your hair feeling crunchy or just really, you know, like nasty, you know? It doesn't dry out your hair and it's frizz free, so I love this stuff. I feel like Diva Curl is a really good investment. Another product that I love from them, as I mentioned, is the conditioner. That stuff is so good. It works as a conditioner and also as a leave in. It also smells really good. It smells like mint and coconut. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. <laughs> that's basically it for this week's video. If you guys liked it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already. I will have my curly hair playlist in the down bar if you would like to watch more curly hair videos by me. Definitely make sure you check out Casey's video. Her channel and her link will be below. Also, if you're not following me on all my social media what are you doing girl so open up your snapchat app and point it at this thing if you would like to add me on snapchat add me automatically which is really cool i love like technology is crazy and my instagram my twitter and my second channel everything will be down below so that's basically it and i'll see you guys very soon with a new video peace out love you bye